Hello everyone, a lot of fish keepers are still using the old way to start siphoning their fish tank. They are going to suck up the hose and zip the water out from the fish tank, which is very wrong because you might drink bad bacteria from the fish tank. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a siphon and how to use it properly. First, you will need to have any kind of flexible hose. In this video, I'm going to use a garden hose because it is very flexible. The hose should be twice or more longer than the height of your fish tank. So for example, if you have a fish tank that has 12 inches in height, then you need to have 24 inches hose. Second, since the hose is flexible, then you need a stick to support the hose to be able to siphon properly. This is the garden hose and we will mark point A here and point B in the other end as well. Remember that this white mark means this is point B. Make sure to attach the support to the side near point A. I recommend using hard plastic or wood stick to prevent scratching your fish tank. I'm using nylon ziplock to attach stick to the garden hose. After placing the support, it will be easier for you to move the hose around the fish tank. Third, stop sucking the water through the hose like what I'm currently doing right now because this is very wrong. Instead, grab the hose and fill it up with water from the top. The other end of the hose, point B, will exit water, which means that the hose is already filled with water. Make sure to close the faucet after using it to save water and cover point B using your thumb or much better clip the end part to hold the water inside. Before we start testing our homemade siphon, I have a fish tank here that is filled with fish poops at the bottom. Lots of algae growing on the sides, especially on the front side, as well as the other fish tank. So I decided to scrape the calcium deposits and algae. Calcium deposit or water stain is very hard, so it, it takes more time to get rid of them completely. After removing the calcium deposits, I then scrape all the algae in front. They are soft, so it's very easy to remove them using a blade scraper. I realized there are also a lot of calcium deposits and algae on the sides, so I decided to remove it as well. I was really having a hard time removing calcium deposits on the sides, but I'm so determined to get rid of them at the moment. I then scrape all the remaining algae at the bottom. It took me 15 minutes to scrape calcium deposits and algae inside these two fish tanks. Some of the comments saying that I might scratch my fish tanks if I use blade. But you can see there are no scratches on my fish tanks. Anyway, let's prepare a plastic container for the fish poops. Container should be placed right below the fish tank. Now let's fill up the hose with water. While holding the water inside, Position point B pointing to the plastic container. Since we will siphon our molly fish tank first, place the point A inside and you can see that it won't start siphoning the fish poops until you will release the point B. And after releasing point B, it started to siphon right away. By the way, you can see a lot of baby mollies inside a fish tank. But the good thing about using the siphon is you can minimize the flow by clipping the hose to prevent siphoning the baby mullies. Now I have taken out 30% water from the fish tank. It's time to siphon the next tank. Same procedure, place the point A inside and release the point B to start siphoning the fish poops. The good thing about placing support is you can move the hose easily to siphon every dirt around the corner of your fish tank. This is the type of water that mosquito likes to lay egg on. So make sure to pour the water right away to avoid mosquitoes from laying eggs. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.